Hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Miley. And I'm Eric. He's Eric. And today I have a ginormous antiquing haul <laughs> to show you and to show Eric because he wasn't with me when I did all this. So I brought you to the floor of my office. Welcome. Hello. I know this is such a professional setup. Um, I'm going to show you the haul, get Eric's reactions to the crazy things I bought. And then we're going to kind of place stuff around the house and have fun decorating together. So definitely stay tuned, like, and subscribe so you can help us toward our goal to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Without further ado, let's get on into the haul. This haul is from the Casey BBC vlogs. I was in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma for a week and my mom and sister and I frequented many a vintage slash antique market. They have really good stuff in Broken Arrow for really good prices. So I got a lot of bang for my buck. And I got a lot of stuff ticked off my list that I've been wanting for our house for a while. So, want to see what I got? Let's do it. First, behind you is this amazing mirror that I will show you a close-up of that I found, actually, as I was running into a store I had already been to, to buy some tiny little trinkets. And I saw this, and I just, like, stopped dead and had to have it. I think it's so cool. I don't know quite where we're going to put it. Maybe in the guest bathroom when we eventually redo the guest bathroom. This can be like the inspiration for it. I don't know what we'll do. But Scrimpy, what do you think about this amazing mirror? I like it. It's super cool looking. Good job. Okie dokie. Next up for the laundry room, okay. I got this really cool hook. Um, we have a really janky old one in there left over from um, whoever lived in the house before us. And it needs to be replaced. It's been needing to be replaced for a while. But we do use it for, like, hooks and yeah. um, bags and coats and stuff like that. So I loved this. Guess how much this was? How much? $7.50. I nice. know, right? Amazing. Super Isn't good. that so fun? I love it. Okie dokie. Next. What's next? Ooh. I got this very cool, very mid-century modern um, pot. Yeah. Not sure what I'm going to put in it, but I just thought it was so cool. I had to get it. It was 45% off. Oh, at Home Goods, this is not an antique, but at Home Goods, I got moss for Archie. Oh, okay. So we'll put that in Archie later in this vlog. This is a very chaotic haul, okay? I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, at this cute little um, tie-dye acai bowl shop we went to. I got, these are earrings. I'm not going to use them as earrings. I'm going to use them in our tiny little printer drawer that's on the wall in there. We'll visit that in a second. I got these adorable fish oh. earrings. I thought it'd be cute to take them off the earring and just pop them in there. Little fish in a bag. Adorable. Yeah. So cute. And then I got this pin because I couldn't resist. So it says breaking news. I don't care. Freaking hilarious. I love them both. Um, super cute. I have been wanting for Edbert to do a collage wall. Um, on the wall opposite our bar in the kitchen of vintage dishes. I finally decided to start collecting dishes this trip. So I got a lot of really cool ones in a nice. bunch of different colors. You like that one? Mm -hmm. Lots of different colors, sizes, some with like patterns, some with pictures, some with settings, just like all, all kinds of ones. <laughs> Hilarious. It's a red plate. Isn't that cool? I got this really cool blue guy. Fun fact, most of these, probably this one even, give off radiation and can give you cancer if you eat off of them. Okay, well we aren't eating off of them, they're for display only. <laughs> so don't stand too close. This might be the weirdest thing I bought. It's a bookend with poodles. Okay. What do you think about that? Interesting. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, okay, and then I did not purchase this. Um, my grandmother actually gave this to me from their house for our little um, drawer. I'll show you up close. I've already showed it in the vlog, but I got a rose rock. She didn't give me that. I got that from an antique store. But I got this adorable little um, stand. This is for our tiny little trinket drawer as well. It holds the plate and then the cup balances on it. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I mean, come on. So loved that. I got, the theme is a lot of tiny trinkets for our little printer drawer okay. thing that I'm very happy with. <gasps> Mama duck, baby duck. I love them. They're so cute. Aren't they awesome? 
Yeah, they're great. This is Eric. <laughs> the whole theme of this video is going to be me disappointed with Eric's reactions to all these things I'm obsessed with that I got. Because he's just so subdued in his reactions. What's in here? Oh, okay. Funny story. I bought a set of eight blocks because I want two of them. One that's an M and one that's an E. So I don't need the other ones. There's the M. Okay. And there's the E, Miley and Eric, for our little trinket thing. Is there an H and an S in there? Oh, maybe. I didn't see. Because that could be, you know, the last That one. could. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's more plate. Oh, I love that one. Just very pretty. That one, similar vibes. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. I think that one's really pretty. Kind of pinkly red. Yeah. Oh, I love this one, too. I love them all. Little pink guy. Nice. For a pink kitchen. This pretty blue. Kind of Asian looking. Mm hmm Oh, I love this one. This one is an old vintage Kellogg oh, that's one. Funny. Isn't that so cute? So adorable. This one's big. Oh yeah, this one was really pretty, and it came with its own hanger. I'm making a huge mess in here. Isn't this so fun, yeah. Scrimpy? <laughs> you got a bunch of stuff. It looks good. And I got it for very reasonable prices, like super reasonable. Look at this awesome little one. Tray. Little tray to put on the wall. Oh, and speaking of tray, hand me those two things right there. This is not vintage. I got this at Home Goods for our bar area. I thought it was so cool to have little yeah, cocktails. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, isn't that one cool? Oh, I love this one. Very 50s. Yeah. This one. Hmm. Another very 50s blue. A cool black, like, twall pattern. Okay. Love that. A brown. This, this. Um, it's called, it was called like Historic Philadelphia Collection or something like that. It's like Founding Fathers. Oh, I love this one. This kitchen is closed due to illness. I'm sick of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Do and not then, use preferred service, only for decoration. Yes, only for decoration. This one is, um... Uh, Courier and Ives, it's their summer plate. They have a, a four season summer um, collection that nice. I thought was really cool. It's a lot of plates. I know, it's gonna be so cool, isn't it? Yeah. I got this pretty red one. Oh, and it came with a hanger too. That's happy. Show that one. This really cool, like, I like the shape of that one. Yeah. That's the Historic America collection as well. Also made in England. Hmm. And then this one's a chicken. You, right? Yeah. Then I just got a couple little trinkets. I got these two little lambs. Are you kidding me? They're so cute. I'm gonna make them kiss on the um, little drawer on the wall. I can't wait to decorate the drawer on the wall. Then last three things. I got two little mushrooms for the wall. Nice. Adorable. And a brontosaurus. So cute. So, Scrimpy, what do you think of my haul? Tell the people your thoughts. It's the most hodgepodge shopping trip you've ever had. <laughs> I love it, though. I'm, like, obsessed no. with everything I got. Cool. I can't wait to put the dishes up, mostly. I think they're just going to yeah. look so fun and crazy on the wall together, which I think is going to look really cool and interesting. So. Yeah. yeah, I think it'd be good. All right, well, thanks for coming to my haul, Scrimpy. You're now. Welcome. I know that one is a little bit over the top, I agree, but I it's just like had to. Their eyes are sweet. Young. I know, they're horrifying, but I love them. I just love them. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to clean this mess up, and then let's go put some stuff places, shall we? Thanks for coming, Scrimpy. You are dismissed from the video now. Nice to see y'all. Bye, nerds. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome to my adorable little printer drawer. I thought I'd show you what I've already got in here. It's just a bunch of like little knickknacks and things. It's one of Eric's action figures from when he was a little kid. Those are two coins from when I went to Japan. It's a cute little Snape magnetic bookmark thing. That's one of my Harry Potter original tickets. This is from a con Eric goes to every year. That's just a little disco ball. That's a picture of Eric when he was a little boy. How cute is that? That's another thing from Gamer Nation Con. That is a little star with a diamond at the end. 
that my parents gave me um, on a necklace when I was 16 for my 16th birthday. That's a little thing my mom and Tatum gave me when they moved to New York. Um, this bottle's just stuck in there. We can't really get it out, so it stays there. This is a piece of fabric from one of my dresses when I played Joe as Little Women. This is a little Tinkerbell necklace I got when we saw Kathy Rigby as Peter Pan. That's a little thing I got in Japan. This cute little keychain bell thing. Cherry, because I love cherries. That's from a vacation Eric and I went on with his family. That's a little D&D mini Eric painted. Um, that's a birthday present from Tatum or a Christmas present from Tatum. <laughs> it's a little baby she designed for me. Um, that's a Peter Pan pin from Disney World. More Japanese coins. That's a little lightsaber from another action figure when Eric was little. That's a bracelet I think my mom made me. That's a picture of me as a baby, aren't I so cute? That's a feather from one of my costumes during Beauty and the Beast. That's just a little um, nesting doll inside. That's a cool dice. That is a Hawaiian pearl, like a, wrapped in a Miley leaf that my grandparents got for me when they went to Hawaii once. Um, that's a little ceramic doghouse and dog that Tatum made me for Christmas one year or my birthday, I can't remember. So that's where we're currently sitting. And now I just wanna fill in the little spaces with the stuff that I got at the antique store. Let's fill it in. All right, it took some finagling, but I got them all in. Let me show you the new stuff. Got a little mushroom up here. I got the little fishy in right there. Rose rock, my sheepies, my cute little dish thing for my grandma. Um, got my duckies there, another mushroom there. And then the cute little blocks, brontosaurus. I think that's it, right? So it's looking a little more full, I love it. I love the idea of just like collecting little things over time and filling it to the brim. So that sounds very exciting to me, but for now, I think that is a lovely update. I'm very happy with how it is looking, yay! Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, next on the list is let's get Archie filled with some new moss, because this has literally never cut it. <laughs> so he's just in his little pot, he thrives. Archie is living his best life, okay? Except we lost his shoot the one he was growing, it wilted the day that it actually unfurled, which was very sad for me, but let's fill in some moss to cover him up. Oh, oh, this is seriously messy. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Ay, yeah, yeah. what have I done? This is very messy. I'm gonna have to vacuum. There you go, Archie, now you're nice and protected in there, bud. So much better. Wow, like so much better. Okay, you guys, it's multiple days later. I've got all this stuff to put away. I think what I'm gonna do first is hang this in the laundry room, because we actually have something else to hang in there too. So let's go do that. So welcome to my laundry room. It is not redone yet. We are going to, we're actually gonna keep the crazy countertops because uh, we're just renting this house. We'd love to buy it eventually, but we're not investing lots and lots of money in it until we do buy it. Maybe down the road, who knows? But we are gonna paint the cabinets. We've gotten permission to paint all the cabinets and the trim and the doors in the house. So, those will be like creamy white, that will be creamy white. All the trim and the door in here will be creamy white. And I wanna do a crazy like fun wallpaper in here, like like vintage like 50s looking like dresses and outfits and stuff like some type of wallpaper like that have i found it and do i know if it exists yet no but that's just what's in my brain is what i want to do but in the meantime before we get to that because you know we're kind of in the middle of directing a show right now and we have no time to spend on big projects like that yet i'm just sprucing what i can in fact let me show you i just did the guest bathroom in here it's totally minimal very very minimal um but we did hang a couple of prints that kind of go with the cute shower curtain colors and put a plant in here. That's my dad's cologne. Cause my dad is here staying with us for about a month while he helps us build the hunchback set. And my cousin Emma, who lives in Tulsa with her husband, she's in our show too. So she comes and stays with us sometimes during the week while rehearsal's going on. So they both use that when they're here and I just wanted it to be a little bit nicer for them, but we're eventually going to redo everything in there too. I kind of want to go for like a moody, very like dark cave like Eric's not gonna like that but that's where I'm gonna put the mirror the gold mirror that I bought eventually will go in that bathroom so we're not gonna put that anywhere today it's probably just gonna be stored until we're ready to redo the bathroom but all that being said I'm taking this horrible little um 
hook thing down. It was just left here and we just threw stuff up on it and never took it down. Um, so I have this awesome hook that I'm going to replace that with. And then I've got this New York print that I just keep moving all around my house because it's not perfect in any space. And there's pops of some pink and some red in this room. I've got, ignore my messy bag and stuff, but I've got this little gold tray with a cute plant. I've got this fun little piece of art that Eric and I found on one of our antiquing journeys um that kind of has those new yorky colors in it so i think this will be fine right here on the wall with the hook right here that's enough talking now let's just make it happen shall we first things first gotta take all this down Ay -ay -ay. there we go okay i'm going to um show you this when it's done okay you guys actually look the mirror goes perfectly in here. It goes better than the New York thing. And I just like it better. It looks much nicer with all the different gold accents in here. And even if eventually we end up putting it in the bathroom, I think this is a better holding place for it anyway. So ignore the messy tools, but it looks good with the other poles of gold in here. You know what I mean? See, it's just a little bit better with the golds. You know what I mean? I just like it better, a little more cohesive. I really need to take down that paper towel holder. We don't use that, it was left over here and it's just an eyesore, so I'll take that down too eventually, but I like the mirror in here better than the New York print. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. I may just hold it. Well, actually, yes I do. I was thinking of here on the mantle, just putting my orchid inside of it. What do you guys think about that? Let's see if that works. Yes. I love it. I also should probably water that guy. So stinking cute. Yes. I believe all that's left for my stash is the plates. And I'm not ready to do the plates today. I don't have time. So for now, I'm done. Oh, hello friends. Editing Miley of the future here to tell you. Can you tell it's like almost midnight and I haven't taken my makeup off because I never take my makeup off. Anyway, not the point. What I'm here to say is I forgot to say like and subscribe and actually end this video instead of just saying I'm done and leaving. <laughs> so we will get to the dishes project in a future vlog at some point. Our life is really crazy busy right now, so I don't know when that will be. I'm not gonna make any promises, but stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.